What do you do when the creator of a revocable living trust dies? Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. If you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, we have had this happen, you know, every once in a while, obviously we are an estate planning law firm. We create plans for people and people do die. It does happen, okay? Circle of life type of stuff. When um, someone creates a revocable trust and then they pass away, those there are certain things that, that have to happen sort of procedurally to make sure that everything continues to run smoothly. Uh, number one, when a revocable trust holder dies, that revocable trust becomes an irrevocable trust. While the creator of the trust is alive, the tax ID number is the social security number of the creator of the trust. When they are gone, that no longer applies. Step one, in most cases, is to get a tax ID number for the now irrevocable trust. All right, what that allows you to do is open a trust bank account. It allows you to conduct business, file taxes if necessary. It's just one of those things that you have to do. The second step that needs to be done rather quickly or like um, in time is there is typically a successor trustee that is named inside of the trust to step in and manage the assets on behalf of the beneficiaries. This person needs to know that the creator of the trust has died, that they are now sort of in line to be the successor trustee. And if they are up for the challenge of taking on that role, then there is an acceptance of trusteeship document that they need to sign that then travels around with the trust. Basically says, I am the successor trustee. I understand there are rights and duties that come along with this position. I accept those rights and duties and I will, you know, do my best to, to uphold them. Sign that. And then what that does is show financial institutions, anybody else that you might be working with that you have the authority to act under the trust. Then you will, with that, um, with the tax ID number, with the death certificate of the creator of the trust, then you should be able to transact business. You should be able to make distributions if necessary and you can do just whatever now needs to be done under the trust. All right, that's it. That is what you do when the creator of a trust dies. If it's done correctly, it's a pretty seamless process. It's not that hard to do. And that's why you might want to make sure you get some help so that you do it properly. All right, that is it. If you like this, hit the like button, follow, comment. If you have questions, let me know. I will answer them. And if you need help with estate planning or probate, uh, you can go to cmslawfirm.com. Set up a time to talk with us over the phone for free. All right, that is it for today. I am Christopher Small. I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Appreciate you. And I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.